Hello everyone and welcome to this demo of ICP Ninja, a powerful platform for building and deploying projects on ICP. I'm Elias, a software engineer at the Definity Foundation, and today I'll walk you through some sample projects, show you the editor in action, and demonstrate how to deploy, modify, and share your work. ICP Ninja is best demonstrated by experiencing it firsthand. Let's start by heading to the ICP Ninja landing page. The URL is just icp.ninja. As you can see, this page showcases a variety of projects. We offer these projects in Motoko and Rust, the two primary languages for developing on the internet computer. For example, we've got an LLM chatbot here that allows you to deploy a chat application running fully on-chain. Another interesting example is the token mania over here, which allows you to deploy a custom ICP native token and play with it. For this demo, I'm going to select the EVM block explorer. To do that, you just click on the example and once the page loads, you can find the details of what this example contains. You can also see the unique ICP features that are demonstrated in this example. I will go ahead and select Motoko and click Open Project. Now that the editor opened, let's look into its components. On the left, we have the file explorer where you can see the structure of your project. In the middle, there's the code panel where you can edit the source files. In this example, the code for a simple block explorer is already written for you. In this function called getEVMBlock, you can specify a certain height and it's going to fetch a block from the Ethereum mainnet by talking to an RPC provider called Llama. Now on the top right part of the editor, you can see the most important part the deploy button. So I'm going to click that right now, and this will trigger the build and deployment process for our application. And it's going to deploy this app on the internet computer. The build and deployment will take just a moment. And in the meantime, you can follow its status down here in the build logs. Next to it, you can see the canister logs those are messages that you might print from your canister. In addition, on the top right here, you can see those three dots where you can format your project or reset the project back into its original state. Once the deployment finishes, you can see that you get a preview here of your front end, and you can click this button right here to open the tab in a new tab, allowing you to use it in full screen. Here you can see the unique internet computer URL of your tab. You can share this URL with anyone and they can check out your tab in their browser. Since this app is running on ICP, it is globally accessible on the internet. Now let's see if this app actually works by entering a block number here. I've always wanted to know what the first block of Ethereum looked like. So let's enter a zero here and click fetch block. What happens now is that the Llama RPC provider is contacted, which is running on the internet. And through an HTTPS outcall, our canister, which is running on chain, is loading data from this RPC provider onto the blockchain. Now we have all the block details, like the miner, the difficulty, and more on chain without relying on any Oracle. Pretty cool, right? Now going back to ICP Ninja, let's take a look at the second tab here, which says backend. Here you can find all your function that the backend canister exposes, and you can call them with just a click, which is super handy for testing. Before moving on, let's tweak this project. Next to the main deploy button, you can see a timer running here, 
that indicates for how much longer your dApp will stay active. To ensure your app stays active, simply click Update Code to redeploy it. Let's make some modifications and redeploy our dApp. Instead of using Ethereum here, I'm going to comment this part out. And further down, we can see that we set up a connection to the base mainnet. So I will uncomment this part here to talk to the base mainnet instead and click update code here, which will trigger a redeployment. This flexibility is one of the neat things about ICP Ninja. You can iteratively adapt your dApp and see it change on the mainnet. While that's redeploying, let's explore another feature, Ask AI. Over here, you can find another button where you can talk to a language model that can answer any question about ICP. So for example, I could ask it, explain what is a canister in one sentence. After you hit enter, ICP Ninja will talk to this language model and after a while, it will return an answer to you. So here it correctly answers that a canister is a bundle that combines code and state and is running on chain. In the meantime, we can see that our front end has been redeployed as well as the back end that is now talking to the base chain. If we go back to Ask AI, you can also see that there are some follow-up questions that you might ask. So it's a great way to get some insights without ever leaving the platform. Now let's say I want to modify this project further. Let's say something in the front end. If we go over here to the file tree, we can see the front end folder where we can find under source a main React file. Let's say I want to change the background color of my app. That's an easy task, but here we are using Tailwind CSS and I'm not super familiar with it, so I would have to look it up. Instead of looking it up, I can also ask AI to modify my code here. You can highlight the relevant section and simply do a right click on it. Then you can choose modify here and enter your query. So I'm going to ask it, can you make the background be a light blue? You click the check mark and the AI will process this query. Now we can see the LLM returns the answer and it's even explaining this code to me. I can now simply copy the code here and paste it back into the editor. I click Update Code to deploy my changes. Now, while my dApp is redeploying, I can also ask some questions about the backend, for example. So you could highlight a section here, do a right click, and you can see we have more Ask AI features here. For example, you can ask it to explain a part of the code or even if you have some errors, you can ask it to fix it and the AI will help you. You can also ask the AI to improve your code based on the most recent standards of the Motoko language or our Rust libraries. And now we can see that the LLM successfully updated our frontend and our block explorer has a nice blue background. Once I'm happy with my changes, I'll save this project to my profile. To do that, you first need to sign in by clicking sign in up here. We offer both GitHub and internet identity. I click my ID to sign in. And now I'm back into ICP Ninja. Now you can find the save button here and you can click Save Project to save the project to your profile. You can give it a name. I will call it My Block Explorer and click Save Project. Now, if I head back to the main page, I can see that 
the project got added here under my projects. It's now stored and ready for me to revisit anytime, even on another device. Finally, let's talk about exporting, sharing, and local development. Let's go back to the My Blog Explorer example. To share a project, you can simply click this share button up here on the right. This will generate a unique share link that you can share with anybody. It contains a current snapshot of your project. You can copy this link and everybody with the link will be able to modify and deploy their own copy. And they don't need to be signed in. Next, I'd like to show you how you can export your project to GitHub. To do that, I click the export button on the top right here. That will take me to the GitHub website where I can confirm my account. After I authorize ICP Ninja, I need to sign in with my passkey. And after that, the process will export your project. This will take a few seconds. And once it's done, there will be a new repository under your name that contains all the files. You can copy this URL. And if you navigate to it, you can see it got exported with all the relevant files, images, and even the readme. Perfect for further collaboration. Finally, I'm going to show you how you can download all the files and continue locally. To do that, we go back to the ICP Ninja editor and select download files on the left hand side here. That will give you a zip that you can save somewhere. And once the download finishes, you can unzip it and open this folder in VS Code. So here we are in VS Code. For the best experience, we recommend using dev containers for a seamless setup. Make sure you have the dev containers extension by Microsoft installed. To open the dev container, simply click reopen in container when you're prompted or press shift command P and type reopen in container. Once inside the dev container, all the necessary tools for developing on ICP are already installed. To deploy, I'll run dfx start to start a local internet computer replica. In a new terminal, I can then type dfx deploy to deploy my canister locally. After that finishes, you can follow these links down here to interact with your front-end or with the back-end interface of your canister. You can also deploy your canisters permanently onto mainnet from here. If you want to work on the front-end, you can also run npm run dev to launch a local dev server with hot code replacement. But for now, you get the idea. ICP Ninja makes it easy to go from online development to local development without missing a beat. And that wraps up our ICP Ninja demo. As a quick recap, we've explored sample projects, deployed a block explorer, tweaked it with AI assistance, and seen how to save, share, and deploy locally. You find all the necessary links in the video description below. Make sure to go to icp.ninja and deploy your own dApp to ICP today. Thanks for watching.